Welcome back everyone. This week we're at the Beagle Bash. Uh, this is the first time I've done this race, so it was quite exciting. This is all very, very new to me. Um, I decided the... this is obviously the first trail ride we've done, as is Betty's, so I was like, okay, I'm going to take it a bit easier. Um, and ahead on this row, uh, we uh, have Sean, Denny, um, Ryan, Easby, and Chris is also on this row, um, and myself. And right ahead right now is uh, Sean, so he's leading the charge. Um, he set a, a, a solid pace. <laughs> this is about as fast as I was comfortable going, so it was it was good. It wasn't like so fast that I couldn't cope, but it was definitely spirited for me, very spirited. <laughs> so it was really good to have him lead, um, especially as it's like you know we're trying to get back into the season and stuff like that. So um, yeah, overall today uh, I came eighty. Uh, sorry, I came eleventh in class and eighty uh, eighth overall. I probably should check how many there are total. I think it was like 21 in class total. But um, yeah, uh, I was a bit like, at first I was like, oh man, I came 11th. And then I realized, ah, yes. Um, <laughs> at After the, during the, the end part of the fifth test, I started getting cramp in my legs. Um, I think that was my own fault from <laughs> not drinking enough water because I had water in my backpack but I was just being like a little conservative with what I was drinking but I should have just been fucking guzzling it um, cause I uh, but th like then the problem was once I started getting cramped but it started getting into my mind and I was like oh shit cause it was it's like I don't know if anybody knew but like a couple of years back I got really bad le leg spasms so bad that I couldn't walk like genuinely terrible like I, I was like fucked for like three four days i couldn't i couldn't walk and the cramp was in exactly the same spot that the spasms were now it could just be normal leg cramp and i'm fairly sure it was just normal leg cramp but when it started when it started happening it started getting in my mind so um i basically too quickly then drank all my water in panic <laughs> so i then ran out of water so uh but the transit between the fifth and um, because we don't do the sixth test, uh, only the, the good people, the good riders did the sixth test. Uh, so I didn't have to do it, thankfully, because I look at how long it took everyone to do that one. That was a long test as well. Um, yeah, anyway, sorry, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, uh, so I drank too much water. So I wanna, if the lady who gave me a bottle of water um, at the seventh test, at, she, that, thank you very much to her because that, that saved me so much. I was having such bad leg cramp. Um, so yeah, <laughs> my, I was very happy with my uh, first four tests and then, so that was test one done. And then I was like, okay, I'm feeling a little bit more confident. And Sean was like, you go first. It turns out we had uh, almost identical times on the second test. He was like 12 seconds behind me by the end. <laughs> um, I think I pulled away from him at the start, uh, but then I started getting a little tired from just being unfit and losing focus because I didn't know anyone was really around me anymore <laughs> so I started slowing down that was, that was all my fault just schoolboy error and then obviously he, he immediately called straight back up because I hadn't put that much time ahead of him um, anyway yeah so back to the cramp thing um, yeah between uh, uh, I, the test was mile long and in the last like I don't know I would say the last four or five minutes of that test because it's not a very long test but I, I had pretty bad cramp and then in the transit section between that I had to just stop like I, I straight up had to just stop the bike get off and just stand and I was just stood there like trying to shake my legs out and like try and shake the cramp away and just walk around for a little bit because uh, that it was so agonizingly bad and then uh, well, thankfully I didn't have to do the sixth test because I'm not good enough and then the seventh test um, I had an absolute blast on that I, I I was like feeling pretty good pretty spirited um, and because it was like a little bit more flowy uh, it wasn't causing my legs to cramp thankfully uh, so I had a really good time riding that trail. That that tra that test was so so much fun. Um, and then um, the final test, uh, 
Even though I'm, I'm glad the lady gave me that bottle of water because I don't know if I could have finished, but I was on survival mode that whole whole <laughs> whole whole, whole uh, test. I was just like, I'm gonna go a little slower and just and just ride to the end. But there's no way I can ride this quickly. So that last test was quite slow. Um, but whatever. That, that was my mistake. I should have. Uh, I. Sh I brought the electrolytes to put into my water. I bloody forgot to put them in that water. That would have probably helped as well. Um, and maybe uh, a second bottle of water or something to refill my pack. Because I only had an extra drink at, attached to my gas can halfway at the gas stop. So maybe another bottle would have helped. But I also didn't expect it to be 20 degrees. Or like actually 20 degrees. <laughs> so yeah, you know, it was, it's, it was surprisingly warm weather. In years past, this has been... Um, an absolute slot fest in very cold temperatures but this year was absolutely beautiful um, apart from the rain which does come which does make some of the transit sections turn into uh, like goop it wasn't horrific but I can see how in past years it was totally it could have just turned into like an absolute nightmare and I can totally see how they had like um, how they could have like bike deep ruts oh, getting a little bit tight. and I stalled it <laughs> oh, and unfortunately, I didn't get to film after the fourth test. Like, my battery ran out in the fourth test, annoyingly. And then, when I came to do the fifth test, I came to pull the battery out of the GoPro, and I literally just ripped the end straight off, like, lit of the battery, so I couldn't get the battery out, because I ripped the end off of it. I was like, what the hell? Ugh, so, yeah, that's worrisome but I, maybe that's why my batteries aren't lasting so long anymore because um because they're falling apart so yeah um i do have a photo of that which i'll show you right now yep so there's that and uh <coughs> sorry and um yeah so what else is there to say just thanks to the organizers this was absolutely an amazing event had an absolute blast. Can't wait to get back and do it next year. Um, I saw that the Terra Nova was cancelled, so I'm a little wondering what happened there. It's a bit disappointing. I really enjoyed that. And yeah, I mean, the only other Enduro probably is... Oh wait, no, there's a Sprint Enduro in Sunbury, so there's, there'll be that one. I'll just see if I can get up to that one this year. But it's just a bit hard to say, like, say to the wife, hey, I'm uh, taking the car for the whole weekend, so uh, good luck getting to work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and add to your classes and add to see your friends on both days. It's like she's very kind and will never complain about me taking it away for one day, but if I'm taking it for like effectively three days, yeah, might be a uh, not so great. <laughs> um, the suspension, yeah, so uh, I, I got it upgraded with Langs. I had the um, had some uh, extra valves put in and better bladder. I was it's 100% better than stock, without shadow of a doubt. I can definitely feel it. Like there were some sections where I'm going into braking bumps and I'm like trying to prepare my wrist to get absolutely pounded hitting the bumps, even on like the hardest, um, hardest compression. Um, but nope, just rolled straight over them, super nice. I was like, oh, that was that was nice. And there was another time when I was going through like um, this field. All right, so the rain has started now. <laughs> I think we just done like a big long transit in the rain and then um, at the start of this test uh, I came in like just like 10 seconds to go and then I uh, stalled the bike on, on starting and then I couldn't start the bike for a few seconds because of the motor so unfortunately I think this was uh, with Will and he raced off super fast not that I was going to keep up with him but it would have been nice to get a little bit of footage but oh well shame anyway uh, yeah so the suspension I was like ooh I was going through a field and I was doing like 50 or 60k and I was like I feel nothing it feels smooth this feels fucking great so yeah the suspension um, is it's definitely a massive improvement oh another thing was um, you'll see later on uh, in my like final clip but I go over like this dip a little bit too spiritedly and um, I slam into the bottom and I 100% know on stock that I would have bottomed out. Maybe have uh, dug the front in because of that and flipped over the front. But but with this, it didn't bottom out. It was just a relatively hard hit and I was like, huh, oh, that's pretty good. So 
I do think I need to adjust it a little bit more. It's uh, I, and also I'm not sure if it's just like my 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 um, brakes and uh, clutter are a little high. So when I did like um, some lessons with Lee Martin in the past, he was telling me to keep my like my my um, levers high. But this was when I was a beginner on the CRF, and I brought the same thing over. Ignore my how high my. Um, Bar buses are right now. Those from Burnt River, and I forgot to put them back down, make them flat. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so I didn't want to be like faffing around because every time I seem to go out without putting Loctite into those those uh, bolts, I just piss bolts everywhere, and then I'm going to just have flappy mudguards, uh, haggards doing nothing. So they just look stupidly high right now because they are actually really high. But anyway, going back to the uh, lever thing, I wasn't sure if like my levers are too high, so I. Now, just after cleaning it, I've lowered them down um, just a little bit so that they're slightly more angled down so that I can stand up better. Uh, sorry, I can stand and have the levers, like, not have my wrist hyperflex back. And it also hopefully will help when I go to the corners where I find it quite difficult to turn full lock because I feel like my wrist is fully extended upwards. It's, it's a bit of a strange sensation. So I'm going to have a little fiddle around with that and, and see if, if that's not helping. And then going back to the point before with the suspension, um, I need to, I, I, like, it's 100% better than stock. I can feel that without question. Like, it's a lot better. But um, I'm not sure if I need to, like, reduce the compression a little bit to make it try and a bit feel a bit smoother and up the, up the rebound. Or if I'm just riding a little slow because I'm shit. Or if it's just because it's like, because <laughs> it's like the first ride of the year, and I'm a little bit more hesitant, and it's a little bit wet, and I'm not riding confidently in the place that I'm used to, you know that kind of thing. So I'll get out, I'll get out, and start fiddling with them again, because it's all, it's all good. It's all good to know exactly what it is all as well. I guess the horn wasn't loud enough, but it's also good to know that my horn works still. I had to replace it. <laughs> the last one sheared off completely, and I. Uh, was like, oh, that sucks. So, replace the one. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll get back to fiddling with the suspension. But yeah, it's, um, it's I'm very happy with, with it so far. I just need to keep playing with it and try and like learn how it super soft feels and super heavy feels, and super hard feels, sorry, and what the rebound settings do and what everything now feels like when I've, I've upped and downed and everything. But I'm really happy with the rear. It feels super planted all the time. So I've got, I, like, I feel like that thing never leaves the ground. It's like tracking perfectly, which is good for me. Um, just got to get the front feeling a little bit better. And I'm not sure if it's also it doesn't help that my, like, I'm not standing because I'm getting tired because I'm not fit <laughs> or if it's just, I don't know, it's one of those things. I see like some people who overtake me that like fly past, they're standing up, and then other people are like sat down and I'm like trying to like figure out, well, they're all faster than me, so they're, and they're all better riders than me. So there's no question in that part, but it's like, hmm. I, I do feel like I need to stand a little bit. Well, no, I'm standing quite often, like I'm, I'm sitting now. Um, and then I, I, see, I feel like I'm sitting for perhaps too many corners, but is it because it's wet? Maybe. Maybe not. Am I just making excuses? Probably. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, uh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely liking how the bike is feeling. I just want to dial it a little bit more, see if I can make it a little softer and like, you know, reduce some of the, like the wrist strain that I'm getting. But I think that's because my, my, um, my, my controls are a little high. So I'll fiddle, I'll fiddle those and, and lower them back down. Oh, this, this rain, like, if, I, I feel for the people who did this in the years past. This year was absolutely glorious compared to that. 20 degrees. It, they said one millimeter of rain, but this is, there was definitely not one millimeter of rain. There was definitely a lot of rain. But um, yeah, so um, it was it was cool to see uh, Vanessa do her debut in the uh, pro class. She seemed pretty happy with that. There was a nice big Facebook post she did. So if you should go follow her. Uh, she, uh, she posts on Full Throttle Family, but like, I don't think she posts race videos, but she posts other random stuff, which is cool. I'll just follow her Instagram. So this is uh, this is where I was like feeling pretty good. And um, like, I was feeling in the zone. And I was I was actually, I think this was my fastest test. Yeah, this is, the, I, I came ninth in class on this test, which is my best result in class. And I, I was feeling real happy about how I performed. This was like a, oh, that was that was that that that, that 
drop off that I'm 100 percent sure would have bombed out um, if it wasn't for uh, for the upgrades. But yeah, I was feeling really good on this test. This was like I, I'm in the I'm feeling it. I've uh, I'm, I'm, I've shaken off the, the winter cobwebs. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling the trail ride. And my body feels good. I don't have crap yet or anything like that. <laughs> like, no excuses. I'm riding happy. I'm riding good. I'm feeling confident. I'm, I like, perhaps riding quick enough that the suspension is, like, working perfectly. I had an absolute blast on this test. And I'm gutted that it wasn't filmed fully. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> This was this was a real real fun um, test. This one was called Yule Road. So, yeah, this is uh, my first ever time at the Beagle Bash, and I would strongly recommend it. Uh, but I guess I was maybe lucky because of the weather. I mean, it's raining, so it's just not freezing cold. Um, and I've learned a lot, so that I can take forward to the next to the next one and hopefully I won't get crap because crap fucking sucks anyway that'll do for this week see ya <laughs>